Hello, my name is Andrew McMillan and I'm the tax partner here at REH CPA. I want to just take a quick moment to go over some frequently asked questions we get in regards to S-Corporations. All S-Corporation owners are required to pay themselves um, a W-2 wage. What the IRS says is all S-Corporations owners are required to pay themselves a reasonable salary. Now, they don't necessarily define what a reasonable salary is, but the IRS does give us some guidelines to follow in regards to helping you choose what that reasonable salary would be for you. Again, the IRS wants you to pay yourself a W-2. That is their rule, so paying yourself on a 1099 would be improper. Um, if you are audited, the IRS would reclassify those 1099 payments and um, reclassify those to W-2 wages, and there would be back payroll taxes that you would have to pay with penalties and interest. So um, we, you definitely want to be sure if you're an S-Corporation owner that you're paying yourself on a W-2. Health insurance is really a hot button issue right now. And um, the good thing is that for S-Corporation owners, they are entitled to the self-employed health insurance deduction. So in order to take that properly on your tax return, you are required to pay your health insurance premiums through your business, through the S-Corporation. And um, at year end, an adjustment needs to be made to your payroll where you report those health insurance premiums in your gross wages, and then it's classified in box 14. This is the way this needs to be done in order for us to take the self-employed health insurance deduction on your tax return. I hope this was helpful. Um, it's definitely some complex issues when it comes to S corporation owners and how to deduct things properly. So if you have any questions, just please give us a call. We're happy to discuss.